Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so, how do you usually practice to playing a keyboard? I usually practice with my teacher in my home. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to MTSP channel Kita ni cakep So before we start our discussion Let us introduce ourselves first My name is Almira Hasna Azaria But you can call me Almira and this is my friend I'm Ayla Farin Pramadana You can call me Ayla And we are from 9.2 Hello everyone So today we are going to talk about how to optimize the tourism place in Indonesia. Now, let me ask you a question, Ayla. What do you think is the importance of tourist object for a country? Uh, I think tourism object are a source of foreign exchange for the country, as well as to encourage the country's economic growth and accelerate the people's economic growth especially in reducing the number of unemployed and increasing the productivity of a country. So tourism object is indeed very important, especially our discussion here is for Indonesia, right? Yes, in Indonesia, tourism object are as one of the contributors for the country's foreign exchange. With tourism object, people can also participate in it as a worker and follow to maintain the tourism place. So, what is your opinion, Almira? What do you think about tourism object in Indonesia? Do you think that tourism object in Indonesia can compete with other countries? Every country certainly has their tourist attraction to attract the tourists from within the country and abroad, as well as Indonesia. The example are there are Raja Ampat, Labuan Bajo, Pintan, Lake Toba, and many more. The beauty that exists in Raja Ampat has been recognized by the UNESCO with abundant natural resources in Indonesia as well as the growing of human resources. Of course, tourist objects in Indonesia can compete with other countries. Mm. Yes, you are absolutely right. Tourism object and natural beauties in Indonesia will not be inferior with other countries. Now, what if we describe one tourism object in Indonesia, then the lack in it and how to optimize it? What do you think? That's a great idea. So, I will go first, Ayla. I will describe about Raja Ampat. Raja Ampat Regency is one of the regencies in the province of West Papua, Indonesia. The district capital is located in Waisai. This district has 610 islands, including of the Raja Ampat Archipelago. Four of them, namely Misul Islands, Salawati, Waijo, and Batanta are the large islands. Of all the islands, only 35 that are inhabited, while the other islands are uninhabited, and most of them do not have names. Also, this Raja Ampat is one is a paradise located in the eastern Indonesia. These islands have a coral reefs that are very abundant. The coral the coral reefs in these islands are the way are the home of the marine life. The underwater beauty of this place makes many people want to see it directly by diving to the ocean. However, still there are many uh, shortcomings in this place, among others are first, the cost per, per boat trip are quite expensive, second, it has a time travel that very long to reach this place, and third, there are not too many hotel trays in that place, and four, the costs involved are very expensive, and the last, it has a complicated journey. So, how do you think to optimize it? I think the way to optimize it by making a shortcut that can be passed similar to toll roads 
so that it making the tourist easier to reach that place and also be based on the shortcomings before we also should multiply the transportation there and also be making many hotel choice so that the tourists more feel excited and enjoying the place they can rest their bodies after a long journey so now our Okay. So now your turn to describe one tourist place in Indonesia. Okay, so I'll describe about Banyumenang Beach. Um, Banyumenang Beach is a beach in Malang. It is called Banyumenang Beach because the water there is calm. Menang is Japanese language, which means calm. In Banyumenang Beach is also complete with the shower rooms, musola and shops that sell snacks the road to get there is not smooth there are still many bumps but all of that will be paid off with the atmosphere the water the wave the sand and the view on the beach but there is still food wash in the beach like pop me wrappers not much but there is that's beautiful. So, have you been there before, Ayla? Yes, I do. That's why I understand the condition in Banyumenang Beach. So, what do you think how to solve that problem so that place will increase the number of visitors? I think there should be some people who also keep and maintain the environment in the beach. The visitors also should take care the environment around the beach not leaving trash around the beach uh, provide the trash bin so people can throw the rubbish and as for the road when i got there it was already being repaired so from our small talk before i left what do you think to optimize the tourism object in indonesia i think the first way to optimize tourism object in Indonesia is to solve the obstacles in tourist place itself like improving the facilities and cleanliness of the tourism place provide the trash bins, shops, culinary place, hotels for staying and improving the transportation to get there, the vehicle and the road to get there The second way is by promotion. Yes. It can be a brochure and advertisement. Because of this era, everything is digital. So I think it's better if you increase the digital promotions and also we can upload the photos about a destination so that it makes the tourists feel more curious and excited to visiting that place. Okay, and as far as I know, currently Indonesia has an official website called Wonderful Indonesia, which is directly handled by the Ministry of Tourism. There are several videos that have been advertised by Wonderful Indonesia, containing various beauties of tourist attractions in Indonesia. The promotion has also reached into various countries. This is one way to optimize tourism objects in Indonesia. As we know that most of foreign tourists only know about Bali, even though there are many other tourist attractions in Indonesia that are as beautiful as Bali. So by showing this video, many people will know that tourist attraction in Indonesia is not only Bali. And I think the next way is by involving the participation of local communities. They must be involved the buildings and maintaining the facilities and infrastructure in the tourist environment. Besides of being able to provide the clear information about the origin place, they can also teach the tourists about a local wisdom. Yes, they can teach and introduce local culture and tradition to foreign tourists. This is will be one of the added values for the Indonesian tourism. A local resident can also feel the benefit 
of the arrival of the foreign tourists which will affect their economy. And the other way is by providing the cheap tour package or it's same with open trip. Mm. A cheap and clear tour package is one of the most important things to promote the Indonesian place and by a clear state of destination and price, of course the of course, the tourists more believe and more excited to visiting the place, especially if the government also provide the cheap package for several lodgings like restaurants and adequate transportation. The government can work with the hotels, restaurants, and transportation providers around the beach to make several tour package that can reach by many tourism um, if the tour package satisfy the visitor the visitor will definitely will repeat to come again and they will also spread it to their friends and those around them and the last but not least we as a good citizen of indonesia we should support the tourist place in Indonesia maybe by the way of frequently visiting the places and also promoting every place that have visited by us on our various social media yes we have to be proud of our Indonesia so I think enough for today's podcast that's all from us see you next time Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh